The Lifesteal SMP. A server where when you kill a player, you gain a heart, and when you die, you lose a heart. It's Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not talking about that Lifesteal. We're talking about L1FESTEE1. -E anyway, let's start from the start. As soon as I joined the server, I noticed that in the chat it said I could duplicate items, which means that even if I die, I can't lose my gear if I duplicate it. And luckily, there's the slash E chest command on this server, which lets you store a double chest of items inside of it. So I got to work by clicking the NPC and teleporting to a random location in the world. Now, I knew something that other players didn't. All around the map, there are things called kits, and these kits don't need ranks. They actually come in shulker boxes, some rarer than others which means that I can duplicate them and create a Monopoly. Now, as you can see from my heart count, I've played this server before, but don't worry, because there's still plenty of things left to do in this video. Coming up to a frozen ocean biome, I found a blue shulker box, presumably to hide it because it blended in. I dug my way up to the iceberg it was on and opened it to find some absolutely insane loot. So I put on all the armor and became the lowest of the low, a TP trapper. Hey, it's basically the easiest way to get hearts and good loot. At this point in time, my friend and I were in a Discord call, but little did we know the huge fight we were about to take part in. By the way, we're now in a sub race to a thousand subscribers against my friend, Supercar Racer, and we're currently winning. So I think you guys should try to close the gap and help him out by subscribing to him. Link in the description. Now, onto the fight. This video had all led up to this moment, and now I was going to accept the teleport. I managed to get down to my area of the TP trap. But since I had shaders on, I couldn't see very well, so I had mined a hole in the roof of the end crystal chamber. But this proved to be a bad idea. The player I was fighting blocked off the crystal chamber with obsidian and got down to me. I nearly died, but I got out alive. I started placing crystals on the obsidian pillar outside, and we defeated the player. After the fight, I RTP'd to a random location in the wilderness, and started looking around for shulker boxes, because as I said, something I know that other people don't know is that there are shulker boxes scattered all around from nearby fights. When I saw this shulker box, I was really happy because I know that black shulker boxes are some of the rarest shulker boxes that you can get. Little did I know at the time, but there was a base with a ton of loot hiding right under a dark oak trapdoor about five blocks away. Now this base had a lot to hide, and I knew that as soon as I saw the items they had in their chests. I started mining the odd looking blocks and found the shulker boxes hidden in the wall, so I decided to keep mining around and ended up finding the best sword in the game. Usually light blue shulker boxes aren't that rare, but sometimes pro players hide good loot inside of them so people don't look inside. This sword is even better than a god sword, and you can see how good it is just by looking at it. It's basically straight from Hypixel Skyblock. As you can see, this shulker of Fabled Shadow Furies that I just got is worth around $500 million on the server. So next episode, I'll probably be selling a few of them on AH and seeing how much I can make. That brings this episode to a close. I hope you will enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.